So this is a photo shoot for the band Florida Georgia Line, but really it's a side business for them called Tribe Kelly. Uh, Brian is one of the guys from Florida Georgia Line and his wife uh, is, has launched this clothing brand, uh, again called Tribe Kelly. And so I had already shot the uh, record cover and some stuff for the band, so they thought I would be a good photographer for the fashion line. Tell me one more time the angles that you need. Uh... We need the front, mm -hmm. the side, so where it's rounded, like where it has this tag, and then mm. where it's rounded, like kind of like how we just want to show that that's how yeah. it hangs on the side. And so like thighs to top of a head is good, right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't need shoes and socks and. Uh -huh. No. Okay. The first setup they picked was really, really tricky because it had very low ceilings and not a ton to work with really. Uh, low ceilings are hard because usually with lights you want them higher than the subjects like kind of 45 degrees facing down, but when you have a low ceiling that kind of gives you serious constraints to work with. So you'll see um, how it kind of has a light off to the right. and. Uh, outside of the ceiling so it could still kind of point down even though you're cropping off part of the light. But that was the best I could do with what I had to work with. Take a step back maybe. So we're going to be flying through these. So basically just you're going to rotate around like a clock like almost every you know one o'clock, two o'clock, just go there around and, and you can fid fidget as you go and just show off the shirts. You know keep coming around. To, yeah that's cool too. Okay. Watch the wrinkles, they're kind of falling away right now. There you go. Yeah, I'm basically doing a, you know, go oh, cool, turn yeah. around, back, mm -hmm. and then zoom out for full body. Yeah, cool. So you'll see that we had really two big, uh, large diffusers on either side of the camera. And that was to kind of create a sandwich of light to just really make it soft and even. and. Um, again, this is a fashion line, so I really have to show off the clothes. Yeah, so you can start rotating. Shooting fashion is a funny thing because I don't really think of myself as even knowledgeable about fashion. I don't even pretend to understand lines and, you know, things that a lot of fashion designers are looking for. So I kind of have to rely a lot of my art directors to make sure that the clothes are being shown like they want. My job is just to light it well and compose the overall image well, you know, make sure there's no weird things going on with the clothes, general wrinkles, that kind of thing. I'm just using a Capture One there to tether uh, and Capture One gives a really nice, I don't know, high contrast kind of professional look. I wasn't going for anything too vibey just yet. How many uh, shirts are we doing again on this wall? We're doing ten, uh, three. But yeah, I was tethering so that the client could see, you know, the, the, the clothes and everything firsthand. And if you can't tell, it was extremely, extremely hot that day. I was sweating like a beast, as was everybody. So, um, that, thus the, uh, all the sweat spots on everybody's clothes. All right, now you can start rotating around a little bit. I was using the uh, 24 to 70 lens. Uh, the zooming in at 70 gives you that nice compression, but if I do need to kind of zoom out a little bit to, to get um, full body, I can. It's just a little easier. A little more versatile of a lens and sticking with a prime. All right, here we go. Take a small step this way, right there, yeah. So here we had moved to the, uh, the wood backdrop and it, I just put the flash right behind me. I wanted that kind of uh, on-camera flash look, uh, high fashion, high key kind of thing. Give me a couple of full body. I ended up really liking how it looked on the wood background. Um, plus, I didn't really have many other options. There wasn't a lot of places I could put my lights due to the small, kind of constrained environment. You have to hold, yeah, hold it a little bit tighter than you are. I'll tell you when to let go. 
Right there, right there. And this part of the shoot wasn't really too exciting. I mean, you just have to get through all the different shirts, all the different pairs of jeans, you know, or whatever it was we were showing off. And once you pick your lighting setup, it's just uh, it's really just about getting through all the uh, different needs they have for the catalog. Drop the bottom right of the shirt. I would tell them to keep turning around like a clock. Just keep rotating around, that way you get every angle. Tell them to keep changing their expressions, looking different ways. Just in general, as much variety as possible so you have nothing but options. You don't want them facing the same way the whole time because each time they turn, the clothes look different and you're shooting faster and that's really key is to having variety to show off the clothes. So this is where we switched. I uh, went on the other side of the logs and there was this beautiful uh, kind of under porch thing where they keep their dogs. Um, but the light coming through these little beams um, was really beautiful. Maybe not your arm, right arm around her. Yeah, just stand, just stand up. That's good. And you two can scoot out a little bit there too. Yeah. Gotta see the gun show back there. Come on now. Just keep doing that and fanning them and letting them uh, cool off a little bit. I added smoke to kind of create this super hazy uh, look. I mean, anytime you have uh, light cracks like that, it just does really amazing things once you add smoke. I think we had a strobe uh, hitting from outside those wooden beams and a big soft box within. So two lights, a little bit of haze, and we got some cool stuff here. So this is where we went outside and up the hill again. It was super, super hot that day. And we were working with actual wolves. This is my first shoot with wolves, that's for sure. These are not dogs, these are real trained wolves. These are the trainers. The question is, will a flashing light scare the wolves? That's what they do not know is happening. So we might want to ask, what's her name here? can be still a dangerous situation. I mean, they're, they're trained, but that doesn't guarantee anything. To act like you're taking a step forward and don't look at me. We had to uh, follow very specific rules and not to get too close, let them warm up for a while. Um, it was interesting. I've never worked with uh, really kind of dangerous animals before, and so we just listened to the trainers, but once these dogs or these wolves came on the shoot, they were really, really great and uh, super sweet to work with. So this is just me feeling it out, trying to figure out like what, <laughs> how do you shoot in the heat, people laying on the ground with wolf, I mean, how do you make this look interesting? There was, there was no quick solution for me, so I just kept shooting trying to figure it, out, figure it out as I go and find the right angles and composition. It was not a, not an easy one to accomplish, um, but yeah, you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta start shooting. And you'll see when I'm moving around a lot and I'm trying different stuff, that's when you know I'm not happy. Uh, but then when I lock in somewhere and I keep shooting, that's when you know I found something I like. Girls, I can get y'all in the shot if you wanna pose. Keep in mind the photos you're seeing, uh, these are still not retouched, so the only thing that's been applied is a little bit of Lightroom processing, but there's no skin retouching, so you're kind of still seeing pretty raw photos. I think we got a few actually with him. We can try, we can try the next thing. I think we got this. Face, I don't want sun on your face. It can be on your body. This is a, a composition that I ended up liking, not necessarily this shot, but I did like the, the general composition of splitting it down the middle with these uh, all these angles kind of going inward. So I stuck with this for a while and ended up cranking up quite a few images. Do you think she would stand one more time with them? Just kind of turn your shoulders a little bit, like over here, and then look back at me. Uh, 
And then look, just a little, right there. We had, you know, pretty people, interesting people, interesting clothes, wolves. You can never, uh, never beat uh, having wild animals on a photo shoot. But um, yeah, I hope that was helpful. I only used a couple lights on that shoot. It was pretty straightforward. Just trying to always watch the clothes, make sure they look good, make sure there's no obvious wrinkles, and um, make it happen. Do your thing.